Hello and welcome to our November video diary. So you're going to have to bear with us on this one because we've spent the last day and a half filming our airbox removal video. Yes, that's right. We have at last da -da, an airbox removal tutorial video and, it's... and we are dust. We are absolutely <laughs> toast. I've been staring time. into this thing for the last day and a half. And I'm done with looking at it. So I'm happy though, because we're gonna do a video diary now. So Roy Milton's gonna take over. We've been fitting these boxes and airbox removal kits for about five or six years, and they've probably one of the most common questions we've been asked on the Facebook, in our email inbox, on the Instagram inbox, for people that we've met in person, at shows, everything and everywhere. And now we've kind of got to the point now where we can kind of sign off and go, this is how you do it. That's nice. And I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm kind of elated. Actually. That's good. They can slide into the DMs and slide onto YouTube. Absolutely. So hit the YouTube there. channel. Um, it'll be going up very shortly, probably not long after this diary is out. And we're going to do, we have done, sorry, both a tutorial and a frequently asked questions mm -hmm. part. So if you don't want to sit there and watch the what could end up being two hours worth of tutorial, probably 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is a frequently asked questions section on that as well, which means you can just go on there and probably the three or four things that you're a bit concerned about or wondering about will all be covered off on there. So yeah, big, fat, tick, tick. done. Boom. Thank you, new sign, new location today. November Diary, we're going to the workshop now. Okay, so November Diary and a walk around the workshop. Let's check it out. Okay, first up, a customer came to us with a bike that already had some real nice modifications done to it and he said, guys, how can you take it to the next level giving it that PCC flare? He also mentioned that he had a load of leather left over from his barber's seat. Can you do anything with it? I want a double stitch. Yes, we absolutely can. Our in-house upholsterer really knocked it out the door. We made sure that we got a stitch that matched the paintwork as close as we possibly could and the results are astounding i think that looks absolutely the nuts looks top level and he also went next level with the pcc touches you got there and a little cheeky one for in there customer also sent us down his seat hump and we had the little pad done on that as well so we done the rapid bike evo and the wheel was shocked. Customers also having some chunky Continental TKC 80 tires fitted. The overall aesthetic of the bike is the silver and black. The customer at the time had the forks redone in black and he said, is there anything I can do to basically integrate them into the rest of the bike? We were like, absolutely, get the fork clothes powder coated black as per the majority of our builds, just that if you're going with a black fork tube, ideally it's then the whole fork has to be black. So we've done the fork lowers, they're all in, as you can see it's on its wheels. We're just gonna get the tires done and get the Rapid Bike Evo done and we're ready to give this back. It's gonna be a really nice little bike that's gonna look very integrated as part. Let's see what else we've got going on. This one is here for an auxiliary light as well as these brand new big chunky heavy duty unit garage engine bars a real nice addition to the unit garage bmw r90 family as per normal for all the unit garage stuff it fits fantastic and just looks absolutely great the customer wants an auxiliary light fitted on the engine bar that's on the other side i'm still in the middle of doing that whilst he was here he's like guys look if you've got the bike what other pcc sort of flares and bits can you do to it Absolutely, we can do the battery cover and of course, the canister removal. Mr. Milton has done a little video on that on our YouTube channel, check it out. This is absolutely one of the mods that you can do at home, an easy peasy one. Coffee might still be hot by the time that you've finished. All right, what we got going on next? The workhorse. This bike is what we're going to be using as part of our track work Renan YouTube series. We're going to be cataloging and filming all of the development that this bike is going to go through. We've just done an airbox removal video on it. That's up on the YouTube. Check it out. We go into a great detail as to how we've done it and keep an eye on this bike throughout the whole process. We're going full endurance on this. So last one of this section of the bikes on the ramp. 
This one is a little bit of traditional difference from what we normally go with in the sense that we are going with our very first red painted tank. It's a beautiful candy red. We're working with the guys up at Valkyrie to give this bike a real pop. The customer came to us with what we call a Genesis bike. So that is a picture of the bike that he's seen online. It was an old R80. He said, guys, I absolutely love this. I want to turn my R90 Scrambler. Well, it's actually an R90 Urban GS that we're turning into a Scrambler. He wanted to match the, the Genesis bike picture that he brought us. It had this beautiful bright red candy paint with this tan seat. The upholstery is gonna be in-house. The tank is gonna be done by the guys up at Valkyrie. And as you can see, the bike hasn't got a front end on it at the moment. That's having the full anodized treatment. The forks, the yokes, the handlebars, the seat brackets at the back, it's all going black. It's having a Wilbur's going in. As you can see, it's got the air box removal. Customer also asked to have a little bag out of the same leather that he's had his seat made out of just to mount on these two tabs here. That's gonna look really sweet and it's also gonna look just like the Genesis bike that he gave us. It's a bike that I'm really, really looking forward to finish and get out there. It's gonna be a little bit different to what we normally do in the sense that we normally go with a standard R90 fitment headlight, which is fitted off the bottom of the yoke. We're changing it up this time and going with a more traditional style off the fork, what is essentially the fork tubes. It's gonna be brackets that go off of the fork tube that look more like the Triumph sort of setup. It's gonna look a lot more traditional and just take it away from looking traditionally R90 because the headlight's gonna be mounted in a different way. Really looking forward to it and yeah, our first red tank is coming in with a big bang because it's gonna be bright and lovely. So that concludes everything we've got going on on the ramps. We've got plenty of stuff behind you on the floor. We're just gonna go into more detail now. Okay, so the other half of the workshop walk around and why am I standing here holding a set of handlebars? And that is because switches like this are no longer a fantasy. We've been working closely with Thomas at Devmoto over in France to make these a now a cam bus functioning product. We can have a loom that goes onto the bike that works with these and it takes all of the weight out of the handlebars and it's something that we've been desperate to do for a long time but we wanted to make sure we've done it properly and having Thomas from Devmoto working with us, it's taken a good 10 months to get to this stage but as you would have seen in our previous October diary, we had the bike there and we had the switches near enough done and ready to go. So I'm absolutely wow. Me and Rory are buzzing to now see these as something that we can put on customers' builds. With the, regards to this bike, it had a couple running issues that the customer wanted us to sort it out. He also wanted us to give it sort of like the PCC flare, PCC treatment. So it's gonna have the airbox removal with the in-house DNA PCC topped filters. It's got the auxiliary light on the right hand side and generally just a nut and bolt check to bring this bike up to spec. I'm really looking forward to getting this one back to the customer. It's gonna be, I think, a head turner. So the final build on the November walk around. The customer uses this as his daily rider. He wanted to bring up the rest of the bike and get rid of all the silver and bring it up to the same spec as the paint job and the 719 option parts it's got on it. It's got 719 option levers, cylinder head covers, and the chest plate. So we're blacking out the whole of the front end, handlebars, yokes, mounts, you name it, everything's going black. Obviously the seat mount, seat brackets aren't going black because they're the 719 option. He also wants the super bright Kellerman indicators on the front and the Kellerman three and ones on the rear. It's gonna be a lovely bike when it comes together and I really like the way that this is gonna look like it's been specced up from the factory for the all black front end. So that concludes the November workshop walk around. I most probably look like toast. I've been staring into this thing for the last day and a half. We've done a lot of filming here this month. We've covered a lot of stuff in this month and we're hoping, like we alluded to, that we want to get up to the NEC and get our video filmed up there for December. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a very cool end to the year and we're gonna keep full gas till the very end. So keep posted. Thank you. So over to the website, peercitycustom.com. Quick update. I have finally found some time to sit and buy a laptop and put some new stuff up. And it has felt very refreshing to be honest. We've got a lot of new stuff on there. Obviously the website has the new in tab on the top now. So go on there and have a quick look. I can't remember when we did the last update if I'd refreshed the menus, but I've also done that now. So everything should be much cleaner and easier to find. Obviously you can still use the filters to go through and find everything you want model specific too. 
So first bits will be that we've now got a few new brands on the website at last. Uh, there's a company called Le Motograph from France. They are producing some extremely high-end CNC machine parts. Um, upper yoke, lower yokes, they've got a whole beautiful CNC rear end on there as well. Uh, some seats and such to fit. You can completely transform your bike with one of their kits and we supply everything you need to do that on the website. So pop onto the brand page for Le Motograph. Um, if you go to brands, it's alphabetical order, you'll find it obviously somewhere near the middle. Loads of cool parts on there. Another new brand, a Jivy. Obviously Jivy, huge um, manufacturer of luggage and goods. Uh, we've got some of those R90 specific parts. We've got some parts like the um, uh, tank, uh, clips so basically you can slide your tank bag luggage onto this clip without worrying about damaging any of your uh, paint or anything like that on the bike which is very cool if you just want to pop something small on there to go away for like a weekend or such we've got a load of sort of winter type products we've got a load of new hand guards we've got some big sort of like winter handlebar muffs basically so for those of you who use the bike all year round maybe do a little bit of off-roading certainly those of you who commute definitely those of you who commute in the uk because at the moment, I think we're recording this at about five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening, and it is cold and it is dark and it is wet. And that sort of product is going to be perfect for that. They're very, very reasonable, affordable prices. I think the Jivy ones come in from about £40, basically, to give you a handlebar muff that's going to keep you warm all the way through winter. Um, on top of that, we've got some extra stuff from Unit Garage. They've got some new heavy duty engine bars. There's a whole host of stuff on there, basically some small products and stuff from here and there from different brands. Head on to the new in section on the website and go from there. Um, additionally, we've now got all of our DevMoto parts up and running. So you'd have seen us mention that previously where you can put the gear indicator and your revs on the single dash on the scramblers, pures and such. We've now got both of the standard and the bulb delete version up there too. So loads on there, follow the socials, sign up to the emails. I have also found a little bit more time recently to be able to do a lot more of the sort of like the customer emails, consumer emails. And I generally put a lot of the new products and the new goings on on the website up there first before spreading them out to things like the videos like this. So sign up for that and uh, yeah, you'll hear from us soon. Okay, so that rounded up November. There's, uh, considering how much filming we've done, that was, was a lot of energy. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of energy. Absolutely. On our feet a lot this week, mm. or oh, this mm. month, basically. Oh, yeah. um, with all the stuff going on in the workshop, with all the stuff going on, on the website, we're basically going to carry on cracking on. We are going to plan to do yes. a December diary. It's going to yeah. be a little bit trickier, so we don't know when that's going to get recorded at the moment. Different. A little bit different. We are hoping that we're going to be up at the NEC show and that we'll be able to do our diary potentially from the NEC show with our PC18 on the BMW stand. We've still got a few bits to tie in before that's going to happen, but that's the aim. Other than that, pop onto peercitycustom.com, leave any comments in the messages below, follow us on the socials, do all the other stuff, and if you're somewhere sunny and nice, just get out on your bike and enjoy it. Okay. Cool. November diary and a workshop around. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> that wasn't very good anyway. With a spec art package. This one, that's it, I'm done, no more. <laughs>